So this is Filter Rose, and this, I think, is probably one of my hidden gem favorites in the system. I use this feature all the time. So the, the software has many applications that produce tables of data, as I've said before, the control centers and this tables of data. And on the screen, you can see the, the this is the main contract control center. It has a search limit of 2000 records. That's a lot of data to be able to analyze in one go. There's absolutely no way any humans on the planet will want to physically sift through 2000 records of data. So um, what we've done, and it has been in the system for, for you know, quite a long time, um, is introduce a filter row feature. What this allows you to do is basically do a text search. So as you can see, is my control center. I'm bringing back about a thousand records on this particular view. And you can see there's rows and rows and rows of data, rows of information, different statuses of assets. So from a right click, the first option in the table is filter rows. And you can see that opens up a search bar above the table itself. So I can start to use that. I can put an asset number in. I can put a project number in. I can put a description of an asset in. And it will refine that search down to just what I'm searching for. And I can get to the information a lot quicker. So again, that's a right click action. It's the top item in the search and it's filter rows. If you're not using that feature today, I highly recommend you, you make most use of it because it really does make a difference uh, to my day. 